In this video, we continue looking at the interactive panes that are part of the control package. In particular, we're going to add a split pane <clears throat> that has inside of it an accordion pane that uses titled panes. We're going to add this into the GUI that we had already started that has a tab pane. And one of the tabs said split and accordion, the other said scroll. And we added a scroll pane around a tile pane that had a hundred buttons in it so that the scroll bars were useful in order for seeing what was there. For this first tab, I want to create a split pane. Now, the split pane is kind of interesting. As with all the things that are under control, it allows us to have multiple uh, things in it that interact with the user. So it has a field called items. And what I find interesting about this is that for the split panes in other graphics libraries, items, you were limited to two items. And with Scala FX, that's not the case. We can have as many as we want. And there is also an orientation setting. So you can decide if the uh, pane should lay things out horizontally or vertically. Uh, where you, I want my panes laid out horizontally, one next to each other, uh, which will work as the default here. So I'm not going to change anything. Equals a new split pane. And then I need to add things to it. So split pane dot items equals a list I'm going to give it two things. The second one is just a new text area. It's something that's fairly large that we can type into and, and whatnot. And the other one will be our accordion, and which we have to make first. So val, I'll go ahead and put it perhaps above the split pane. doesn't really matter. Val accordion equals a new accordion. And the idea of an accordion is that it has a bunch of little kind of tabs in it. They're not really tabs, they're, they're titles. And whichever one you click on, it gets, the, it gets expanded so that you can see it, and the others are collapsed. And so what I want to do with this accordion, after I've made it, is I want to add a number of elements to it for I in one, two, we'll just add 10 of these. And what we're going to add are these titled panes. Okay, uh, so val titled equals a new titled pane. I want to set the text on it. And I want the text here to kind of just reflect the number that we're on. So titled pane plus i. I want to add something into this titled pane. The titled pane has a content, just like many other things have. And to keep it simple, we'll just put a button in here. And the button will be numbered as we've done before. And then I want to add that titled pane into the accordion. Now the accordion has a field called panes, which we can add this into. I have to admit, it's one of the challenges you're going to face with Scala FX is remembering where things go. So for titled, you add things into content. For the accordion, you add it into panes. For the split pane, you add it into items. Uh, so um, they use names that are supposed to be well associated with the type that you're working with, um, but they're not consistent across everything. So there's a good chance you'll have to either make yourself a cheat sheet or go and look at the API every so often to see how those things are working. And have I added my split pane to tab one? It does not look like it. So tab one dot content equals split pane because that was the top level there. And now we can run. 
Oh, okay. Accordion. How have I misspelled that? Line 15. So we'll pull up the API as it has accordion. Um, yep, I apparently like to misspell accordion because I have been consistent in misspelling it. And one thing that you should not do in your programming is leave spelling mistakes like this because the person who comes after you probably spells appropriately, in which case you run into troubles. Okay, split pane dot items. Well, let's go look in the API. Split pane. Indeed, I do not see an items or a contents. Okay. Nice, helpful thing you can do with the API. Oh, it is items. There is an items, and it's an observable list. But I need to add them in to make it happy. OK, I can live with that. So on this side now, we have a split, uh, split pane. Here's the power of the split pane. It can move back and forth. The user can control how much space each one gets. The accordion has all the tiles. They start off all closed. And you can view one at a time, and all the others will stay closed. So that concludes our uh, interactive panes, the ones that are part of the control package. Um, because you can nest these, and I think this example has done a reasonably good job, remember we have a tab pane here at the top. Nested inside of the tab pane is a split pane. Nested inside of the split pane is an accordion, which has title panes inside of it. You can do this with all of the layouts. You can nest them however you want to get exactly the type of look and structure that you uh, want to have for the GUI that you're building.